Hey, 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 legend, Fraser Brooks here. And in this video, I wanna share with you a really cool messenger hack to help you keep track of your prospects on social media. All right, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, do us a massive favor. Hit the like, hit the thumbs up. It's the same thing. Hit smash that subscribe button so you do not miss out on all things social media and network marketing combined. And if you are returning, welcome back. Super excited to see you back here. I hope that you're binging some of the content, whether this is the second, third, fifth, 10th, 20th video, or you literally come back here every single week when we release some of these videos. We, we are actually releasing a lot of YouTube shorts as well, so I hope that you can get some value in those 30 to 45, 60 second little videos that we do as well. And all the engagement, all the love on that is massively appreciated. Thank you so much. So today, I'm gonna answer a question that I get sent a lot about Fraser. This is great, I'm recruiting, or I'm having a lot of conversations. I love that free giveaway that you've got because it's made it so easy. If you want it, you can go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash 101 to go ahead and get it and your recruiting will improve dramatically. But uh, I can't keep track of all the conversations I've got. What an amazing problem to have. Like I've got so many conversations going, I've got so many hot prospects, I've got so many leads, I don't know how to keep track of them. Amazing problem to have. So I'm gonna show you, I'm, I'm gonna talk about maybe three different ways. The first way is what I call, and, and by the way, the third one, like do not miss the third one. Uh, the third one is going to change the game. And to be honest with you, I probably should just do this video on the third one, but I'm gonna give you two other ones anyway. That's just what we do, right? First one is I call, I call the sticky note system. So sticky notes and it's a system, hence sticky note system. So you're gonna get a pack of sticky notes. You can, if you want, they can be all different colors. If you want, they can be the same colors. It doesn't really matter. Now each sticky note is going to represent a person. Okay, you're gonna write their name, what platform you connected with them on, what date it was, and maybe whatever notes that you need. And on a wall in your house or in your office, if, if you have a space, this is, you're gonna require a space for it, uh, you're gonna put them up, right? So when you connect with them, they go in column one. When you ask if they're open, you put them into column two. When they see a presentation, column three. When you follow up with them, column four. And then yes or no. Right, so I've connected with them and I'm gonna move them because I've asked them the question to see if they're open. They are open, they watched the presentation, they said no. All right, so now I've got loads of people in the no. If they say yes, maybe you have another wall, right, which is gonna be level one, level two, level three, level four, level five in your organization and you can move people around, okay? This is really good because you have a visual representation of like where people are at and like, oh, I've got loads of no's. I need to get three more people to join before the end of the month to hit a requirement or an incentive or a bonus. I'm gonna reach out to all those people to see if they want some more information. Or these guys haven't made a decision yet, I'm gonna reach out to them. Or these guys said they want more information and they haven't seen the information, I'm gonna reach out to these guys, right? It's a really good way. If you want a digital version of that, you can use Trello, right? T-R-E-L-L-O, trello.com. Uh, it's a digital version, really, really cool. If you're not like tech savvy, you can give it a go because it's not that complicated, but I understand not a lot of people like tech. So, uh, but if you are, if you if you kind of all right on the computer or the laptop, then it's gonna be great for you as well. You're gonna love it. The second way is very, very simple. Now in order for me to show this, I need to uh, get my phone out here. So let's do this. All right, it's on Instagram. It's one that works for Instagram, okay. It's not working. Now it's working hard. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. Good job he says that, right? So we're on Instagram. Um, thank you. And then we go into the, uh, the messenger and all we would do is simply flag a conversation. So let's say we've got here, we've got uh, Amber Estelle Smith, the second one, right? So I'm gonna scroll from right to left. I'm gonna hit more and then I'm gonna hit flag, right? And now you see there's a little orange flag on the right hand side. Let's say I do the same with let's green and grow which is not their name, it's just their Instagram name, right? Imagine if your name was Let's, cool. All right, so got two flagged. Now, if we wanna go and then see all the flagged conversations, we can see where it says my name, Fraser Brooks Online, and then underneath it says search. On the right-hand side of the search, it has the three kind of horizontal lines to filter. Click on that, and then you can click flagged. And then all the flagged conversations are gonna appear there. That's a great way to keep track of the good conversations that you're having in Instagram Messenger. However, the last one, 
is a Facebook Messenger one. I absolutely love this. I think Facebook is the best platform. Um, it's not my, I would say Facebook is my favorite platform and I believe it's the best one uh, for people getting results right now. But other platforms are very, very good as well. I'm not saying that, that you should only use Facebook, but the Messenger is exceptional on Facebook, right? So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go into Messenger and you're gonna go into a conversation, right? So Jessie Gallant, she's amazing, based over in uh, Canada. A lot of her content's in France, but uh, in French, sorry. But she's amazing. So let's go on to Jessie, and I'm going to click her name at the top. Okay. Now, you'll see it says theme, emoji, nicknames. I'm going to go on to nickname. I'm going to click her name. And then I'm just going to put an emoji followed by what her actual name is. Okay, so let's go star and then I'm gonna type her name, okay? Oh, it's well, sorry, my bad. Okay, save. Now watch what happens. Her name is now Jesse Gallant. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy is, uh, is, is messaging me as well. Hello, Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't deserve a star, not yet. He deserves a heart. That's what you deserve, mate, or one of them, like a flex emoji, right? So now it says, you set the nickname for Jesse Gallant to star Jesse Gallant. I see that, Jesse sees it as well, right? But the reason why I would do this is that I can then go and search for all the people I've put a star next to their name. So we've got Joan, Portia, Jesse, and Olivia. So I'm gonna go into Jesse. Now, if 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 Jesse kind of goes, why, why have you changed my name with a star? Because I think you're a star person. I think you're a star. I think you're awesome. Now, we can do this. Let me just, just come off the recording now. Okay. What we can do is we can set a star for prospects. We could set a one of them, whether it's high five or pray or praise, I don't know, right? We can set one of them for people who we need to follow up with, right? We could, we could set a flex emoji for everyone who we think is a strong prospect. We could set a love heart emoji for anyone who's in the team. We could do whatever we want. Maybe if they're level one in the business, you can put a love heart. Maybe if they're level two, you can put two. If they're level three, you can put three love hearts. And that way you can easily look through and see who the people are you need to connect with and why you need to reconnect with them. This is one of the biggest hacks that you can do on social media for your network marketing business. Whether you use the sticky note system in real life on Trello, you use the, or, or you use this flagged system on Instagram and the nickname system on, on Facebook, whichever one you do, make a decision that you're going to use it. Let me know in the comments which one you're gonna use. Are you gonna go sticky note style or are you just gonna go with the flag process on Instagram or are you gonna go with the nickname solution on Facebook? Let me know down below because I wanna make sure that, I wanna see what like, what's your style, what's your flavor, what's the way you like to go. Uh, and then once you do that, feel free to share this video with your network marketing friends and family. If you want to improve your recruiting skills, right? So you can get back better at tracking as well. Because the more people you're speaking to, the more people you need to track. The more people you need to track, the better you're going to get. Is go to fraserbrooks.com forward slash 101 to get the free giveaway, right? The free PDF, which is literally step by step what to do with this response, that response, script, 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 script. It's going to help you get better at inviting, following up, and closing. Lastly, you would be doing me a huge, huge favor if you get, that was, I probably should have just caught it, that would have been left-handed, right? If you get your hammer out and absolutely smash the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. It means the absolute world to me and the channel. We are getting very, very close to 50,000 subscribers. And when we hit that mark, we've got something very, very special that we're gonna be doing consistently. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.